Percy puffed grumpily into the yards. He was feeling put upon and said so. I feel put upon, he complained to Thomas. Thomas was confused. Put upon what? The rails? No, put upon with work. Driver says he is too. Upon? What a silly saying, replied Thomas. Annie and Clarabelle liked it, and they sang about it too. Percy's been put upon, put upon, put upon. Percy's been put upon, poor old Percy. Percy is being put upon. I am, I am, I am. He collected metal from the foundry. Coal from the yards. Flour from the mills. Rock from the quarries. And fuel from the depot. Then he delivered it all to the docks. Next, he collected empty freight cars. Who's this dirty little engine? cried the freight car. We want Thomas or Duck. Percy ignored them. Put upon, put upon, that's what I am. That night, all the engines laughed at him. We can see what's been put upon you, said Thomas. Silence, said Sir Topham Hatt. Percy, you've done a good day's work. Now get a good night's rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Next morning, he took some freight cars to the coal yards. Then he had to push empty freight cars to the mine shaft. When he arrived, there was trouble. The foreman spoke to his driver. The cars are stuck on the mechanism. All they need is a good push. Do it right away. Percy shunted back to where a large canvas barrier was used to protect his line from loose rocks. Percy charged the line of freight cars too fast and too hard. Oh no, gasped Percy. The freight cars broke free, but ran out of control to the mines below. On, on, faster, faster, the silly freight cars yelled. Then there was trouble again. Get out of here fast! The mine's collapsing! We'll just have to make a run for it, Percy! called his driver. There's going to be an avalanche, wailed Percy. And he was right. Worse still, the track he was on began to crumble. Oh, help! wailed Percy. Then he remembered something he had seen earlier. There's a canvas barrier by the track. That might save us. They were just in time. Percy was right. The canvas did indeed save them, but the miners didn't know that. The avalanche has buried an engine and its crew, shouted the foreman. We must help them. When Percy had been rescued, Sir Topham Hatt spoke to his driver and fireman, then to Percy. Driver told me how brave you were, Percy. As a reward, you will be repainted at the works. Oh, thank you, sir. When he returned, Percy's coat glistened in the sun. I'm sorry we teased you, Percy, said Thomas. You were certainly put upon by that avalanche. Yes, indeed. But just look at my new coat of paint. Now, I don't mind that being put upon me. <laughs>